Dear friends, in this uh, video, we will explain how to design RC columns for uh, ACI code. So let's get started. To design, uh, we have this layout and we have nine meters in the x-axis space and space in uh, y direction, 7.5 meters. So we need to design C3 column. So here we have C and the grid three. So we have this column will carry this tributary area of nine by seven uh, nine by seven meter square so we have uh, design inputs uh, given parameters like load four kilonewton per meter square super dead 4.5 slab 25 centimeters and grade 60 for the yielding uh, three bars and therefore if yielding it will be 420 megapascal and if C prime concrete strength will be uh, 30 megapascal. So according to ACI code, there is seven load combinations, but the basic are the first and the second in the table shown. So we have 1.4 dead, 1.2 dead plus 1.6 uh, plus 0.5 live proof or snow or R, but we don't have any of these uh, like roof or uh, snow or wind load therefore it will be just the 1.4 dead and 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live and the largest one will govern the calculation so step one in design is to compute the slab load so according to our plan we have a tributary area so we have nine meters so we have nine by Half of nine and half of nine. So in the x axis we have nine meter, and also for the y axis we have seven point five meter. So nine by seven point five meter. Simply this is the tributary area, and this is evaluated to sixty seven point five meter square. Now next step is to uh, calculate the slab on weight. So according to reinforced concrete weight, this is twenty five approximated. If we multiply it by the thickness of the slab. This will evaluate the own weight. So 0.25 by 25 kilonewton per meter cubic. It will evaluate to 6.25 kilonewton per meter square on weight of the slab. And uh, also we have total dead weight will be the super dead plus the own weight. Super dead 4.5 is given and 6.25 we just calculated. So this evaluate to 10.75 kilonewton per meter square. Slab load one will be this combination and it will be 19.3. And slab load 2 for the other combination will be 15.05. So we have the govern first combination 19.3 kN, and this is our slab load. Step number 2 is to compute or calculate the ultimate, which is the ultimate axial load in the column. We can find this by this simply uh, equation. We need to uh, multiply the tributary area by slab load plus column self weight. We need to compute that. And all of this by the number of stories we need to design. So we have tributary area already and slab load. So we need to assume, uh, for this example, we have five stories and each of four meter height for the column. So column self weight will be, uh, we can assume for an initial state of minimum weight of 0.3 by 0.3 dimension size of column, then it will be uh, 0.3, 0.3 by uh, the height and the reinforced concrete. Uh, 25 and here we have the height 4 and this evaluate to 9 kN for an initially uh, dimension of column. So this is the P ultimate according to the equation above and it is evaluated to 6,055, uh, uh, and this evaluate to P ultimate equal 6,558.75 kN. So we need also to understand the design equation according to ACI code, and this is the ultimate, which is phi pn, where phi is 0.65 for a tight column, and for spiral column, it would be 0.75. And lambda is a factor considered in minimum centricity of, uh, for the columns, and uh, it is 0.8 uh, for the tide in our case, and for spiral, it will be 0.85. And this is already in the given in the equation, 0.85. If C prime, it is the concrete cylindrical uh, a compressive strength after 28 days of curing, area gross for the section and area of steel plus uh, yielding, which is 420 megapascal in our case, by the area of steel. 
And also we need to ensure that the units, for example, this P ultimate need to be uh, divided by uh, at the end by 1000 to have in kilo. So step three is to uh, estimate the column dimensions. So uh, we have this equation. We can assume for now 0 0.0, 0 0.01 area gross is the area of steel, which is the recommended for economical design. And uh, therefore we can compute the area gross. Uh, this will evaluate this value. And uh, we can divide this value by 80, 800 millimeters to find uh, the other uh, dimensions. For example, I need the column to be 0.8. So uh, if I divide it by 800 millimeters, because this is in millimeter square, this evaluate to 536. And uh, I just make it 0.8 by 0.5. And let's try. So the regress, it will be uh, 500 millimeters by 800, which evaluate to 400,000 millimeters. So to design and find the area bars and reinforcement, we need to estimate area of steel, which is 0.01 by the uh, 400,000 millimeter area gross. So this is evaluated to 4,000 millimeter square. So let's try 80 millimeter bar size. So the rebar area it will be pi by a circular uh, area for the rebar, pi by uh, the diameter square over 4. And this is evaluated to this value for 18 uh, bar size. So we need to uh, find the rebars, the total number, which is can be found by this equation, the total area of steel needed by the rebar area of uh, one size. And this evaluate to 15.7, so approximate it to 16, uh, 16, which is the number of rebars in total. So the column capacity then could be founded by this equation again, but we need to substitute the uh, area of steel of 16 by 20 at 254.4, which is the uh, this value, the total new area of steel, not 0.01. Uh, so this will evaluate to 8,401.17 kilonewton. But also the actual new pay ultimate will be uh, depend on the uh, size, the new size, which is which is uh, will be this uh, this. There is an error here. It will be 0.5 by 0.8 because we used 0.5 because we used 0.5 in the uh, when we found the dimensions, so we substitute 500 by 800 millimeters, so 0.5 by 0.8. So again, it will be uh, approximated to 6,070, uh, uh, 1,713 uh, So the capacity is more than demand, so it is safe. So here is the result, and the final design is 16, a size of 18 millimeter, and column size 0.8 by 0.8. Five, not 0.55. Sorry, for, sorry for this mistake. And this is the final uh, design. And also, let me share with you RC Column Designer app, which I just developed. It is very easy and free. So if you want to try, send me an email to this email designnexus24 at gmail.com, and I will uh, send you the link. So uh, let's try it. As you can see, I just input a 6,000 kilonewton ultimate load, and uh, this ultimate moment just take it for it will not affect the result. And we have uh, 50 by 80, and this is 30 uh, concrete strength and 420 megapascal, 40 for the cover, and select size, click compute or calculate, and you will see the final result and detailing in addition to interaction diagram. And this is very, very nice app. So you can send me an email again, and I will share it with you. And please share and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave it in the comment section, and I will be happy to help you. Thank you for watching.